Hey guys, this is your test weather forecast, and today we're going to be talking about an upcoming potentially major winter storm that could impact portions of the Midwest into the Mid-Atlantic this coming weekend, Saturday and Sunday. Before we get into this, I'd like to ask you to subscribe. About 75% of you who watch my videos are not subscribed. So please click the subscribe button if you like weather-related content, and hit the notification bell if you do not want to miss a single upload. Also, share it with friends and family and like the video to get this out to as many people as possible. Let's get right into this. This is the uh, early morning hours of Saturday, January 30th. And you can see widespread heavy rain, potentially some thunderstorms in Arkansas, Oklahoma, Missouri, Kansas. And as we move ahead into the early afternoon of Saturday, January 30th, that rain pushes northeast and starts transitioning to snow and ice, a snow ice mixture in portions of Wisconsin, northern Illinois, and eastern Iowa, according to this model, which is the latest GFS model. And by the late evening of January 30th, Saturday, most of the rain from northern Illinois and north turns to heavy snow, and even portions of Indiana turns into heavy snow, while there's a fine line of rain to snow, rain to the south and snow to the north. Into the early morning hours of Sunday, January 31st, the system pushes eastward, leaving light snow lingering in the Great Lakes and heavy snow in portions of the Ohio Valley. And by morning, like 7 a.m. on Sunday, January 31st, you can see some moderate to heavy snowfall in portions of the Mid-Atlantic, as well as some rain. And by the evening of that same day, Moderate the heavy snow lingers around in Pennsylvania and New York. And into the very first day of February morning, the low deepens in the Atlantic, leaving some heavy snow behind in portions of the Mid-Atlantic. And according to this model, the low lingers around the East Coast, leaving rain and heavy snow in the whole area as it just sits there for quite some time before pushing off northeast. Do I think this is a realistic scenario that will happen? No, it's a possibility, but I can't rule this actually happening out. The ECMWF model, which is the European model, will likely show a much more realistic scenario. These are potential snowfall totals from this upcoming system. You can see widespread 6 plus inches in the Great Lakes region in the pink there, and, and you can see widespread 6 plus inches in all of New England portions in the Mid-Atlantic with widespread 12 plus inches in the crimson color and some pockets of 24 plus inches according to this model. This is the latest European model, the ECMWF, and this is likely to show a more realistic scenario that could happen. This model tends to handle winter storms better than the GFS. But you can see here, this is the evening of Saturday, January 30th. You can see rain to the south and heavy snow to the north. It is more widespread. And you can see into the morning hours of January 31st, it doesn't quite make it as north as the GFS does, but it still pushes eastward at a steady speed, bringing moderate snow to portions of the Ohio Valley and towards mid-Atlantic. And by the evening of January 31st, you can see some snow in portions of Virginia, lingering snow into southern Great Lakes. As that low starts deepening over here on the first day of February, bringing moderate to heavy snow in portions of the Mid-Atlantic. As that lingers around the East Coast, similar to what the GFS showed, leaving heavy snow right along the East Coast there before pushing off to the Northeast. These are potential snowfall totals from the ECMWF model. You can see widespread 6 plus inches from Iowa into portions of the northeast and mid-Atlantic, and you can see some corridors of 12 plus inches of snow in portions of the Midwest and the mid-Atlantic, and you can see 36 inches of snow in Virginia. Yeah, that's probably not going to happen, but regardless, heavy snow is likely in all of these areas. That's just the weather forecast for these upcoming potential major winter storms. Make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment if you want. Goodbye.